Mourners flocked to the St. George's Cathedral where Desmond Tutu served as Anglican Archbishop of Cape Town from 1986 to 1996. Here they came to leave messages of love and condolences in a book of memory and to lay flowers at this wall in honor of the arch. The city has its own plans to commemorate the arch who has been described as the greatest Cape Townian. Well, just so much of his life and contribution to South Africa it resonates with his uh, residency here in Cape Town. Obviously, this is where his seat was as Archbishop. Uh, he was just so synonymous with this city and, and the, the great moral voice for truth uh, through the darkest days of apartheid, mainly from his seat here in the, in the Archdiocese. As soon as news of Tutu's death broke, residents of Cape Town started making their way to the cathedral, a site synonymous with the arch. Many expressed their appreciation for the role he played in the fight against apartheid. He set the perfect example. You know? uh, to him, to me, he was God's angel. And, 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 and he spoke truth to power. Not scared of anybody, and, and he, what was wonderful for me was he, he regarded everybody the same. Whether you were high class or somebody from the, uh, from the street, he treated everybody the same. Back in the day, um, the arch was with, with rallies, with every rally or march, that was, the arch was always in the forefront, and we are at the back, and that for me um, is one of the most. Um, not really, I won't say the most important things, but, but because it also led to our freedom. That is why it is so profound for me that he was the one, you know, in the forefront of, 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 of marches and, and, and so on. And it's not just for all of South Africa alone to come out and pay their tribute. It's for everybody. It's open for everybody. Such a man just, you know, live a good life on earth here. So living just the post peaceful world to go and sleep in the Helvon is another good thing. So my condolences to the family and to South Africa at large. It, it means a lot for everybody. It means a lot for everybody. We were part of the Purple Rain parade and we were always part of the marches that he did. And we're just so proud of what he did for us. And we just hope we can be what he, what he meant for us, that we can leave that kind of legacy ourselves because he did so much for all of us. Further announcements from the city about its plans and details for the funeral will be communicated in due course. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Cape Town.